he's a lover. He's just a lover. I mean, any guy who's like a, there's a florist has to be somewhat romantic, right? The florist knows everything. The florist knows who's being faithful. The florist knows who's cheating. The florist knows who's sick. The florist knows who's well. Um, the florist has got, the florist is like sort of like the inside scoop on the gossip channel, you know? There's a lot of messages that are passed between florists, you know? So the florist knows if you screwed up with the wife. Because, you know, he, he has the one, he has to write the I'm sorry baby card that goes on the flowers. So the florist is really, he's kind of the go-between. He's the messenger. He's like an angel. He's, he's the angel of love. In some ways, he is Cupid. That's why I'm wearing pink. In general, the idea of the story is, is that people don't see uh, uh, Jessica's character, Morley, and my character, Reed, as a fit couple for one another. But that's the kind of, that's the amazing thing about love, which is, it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks, it's about what you think. There are just certain people that are on the yes list, you know what I mean? It's like, you don't really get, look at a Gary Marshall film and be like, mm, I, don't, I don't know, let me think about it. Like, you do those films, you know? It's like, it's like Steven Spielberg is on the yes list. You know, you, know, you just be like, look, Steve, I don't know about this one. You just say yes, you know? There are certain people that are on the yes list. Gary's on the yes list. The movies, um, you know, I think in some ways it does address the cynical side of the, of Valentine's Day, and I think it also addresses the the hopeful side of Valentine's Day, um, and and that's why it's nice.